All right, welcome back, guys. So today we're going to talk a little about kind of the history of ancient Egypt. So the ancient Egyptians were fascinating people, and thanks to the movies, are often misunderstood. The ancient Egyptians were not in love with death. They were in love with life. They worked very hard, but saved time to enjoy family, friends, music, parties, swimming, fishing, hunting, sailing, and especially their children, all of which were very important to ancient Egyptians, which sounds kind of similar to how we are today. This ancient culture was not based on fear. It was based on kindness. The ancient Egyptian believed that their life on earth was just the beginning. After they died, the next step in their journey would be to magically travel to their perfect afterlife. Remember, last week we talked a little about the afterlife, where they would live forever. There was a catch, though. To reach their afterlife, the ancient Egyptians believed they had to do many good deeds while they were alive to keep their heart light. What happened to them if their hearts were not light when they died? Oh dear, find out here. So we'll talk a little more about that next time, about what happened. The ancient Egyptians had over 2,000 gods they believed would help them with their life and help them reach their afterlife. Most ancient Egyptian gods had animal heads or green bodies or something that set them apart from people so that you could tell the difference. You might think the ancient Egyptian people would be afraid of these very scary looking gods. They were not afraid at all, at least not most of them anyway. They prayed to statues of their gods in their temples and made wishes for things they wanted. If their prayers were not answered, they might give the statue a little whack with a reed to let the gods know they were quite disappointed. But they understood that you could not always get everything you asked for. Which sounds similar to life now, right? We don't always get what we want or what we ask for. Which all goes to explain why a popular family outing was visiting the family tomb with armloads of grave goods, which we'll talk about later, next, later on in the week also. The family had made things they might need in their afterlife to make their eternity comfortable and fun. They made little statues of people out of clay, each about three to eight inches tall. They believed these little statues would come alive in their afterlife and run around and do all the chores, <laughs> leaving them free to enjoy themselves. As all ancient Egyptians knew, after you died, your ka, your spirit, flew off to enjoy endless, perfect days along a magical Nile. At night, your ba, your night spirit, returned to your tomb, because even mummies need a good night's sleep. The ancient Egyptians were, after all, very practical in their way. 5,000 years ago, the ancient Egyptian made their home at the mouth of the Nile River, where the Nile runs into the Mediterranean Sea. It was a wonderful place to live. The soil was rich, food was plentiful. They were surrounded by desert, which kept them safe from intruders. But the Nile kept their world green. They did their best to chase away other ancient people who wanted to take over their land. They were not afraid to fight intruders to protect their unique life along the Nile. So, <clears throat> for the next time we meet on here, I want you guys to think about a little more about the afterlife, which we talked about last week when we built the pyramid and when I read the story. And then think about some of the grave goods. And what, what might you think that a lot of the Egyptians would want in their tomb with them for their afterlife. I think we talked a little about that last time too. So just a couple little things to think about. And also they mentioned the Ba, which was the night spirit, and the Ka, which was your spirit during the day. So little side note for you, a little homework. Try to do a little search and see if you can find out a little more about the Ka and the Ba which is spelled just like it sounds, the K-A and the B-A, the Ka and the Ba. All right, boys and girls, I will see you soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.